환영합니다, 손님. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video of Library of Runa. I'm Demonic Wolf, and today we have some abnormalities to get done. But before we start that, I have new nuggets to introduce to the channel. Starting in Hod's area, we have Halo Sammy. Then after that, we have in Netzaz area, Demo Ad Dennis Raikin. I really do appreciate your guys' comments. Welcome to the teams and everyone else. Thank you guys for your wonderful comments as well. You know, I will say, fighting Kali last video was very challenging. Luckily, I got through it on my first try. But I went back because I didn't have enough pages to make a full page for Jebra. And I can say this, it took me about four to five attempts to actually get the cards that I needed, dying multiple times and using multiple teams. So I can say firmly, I got very lucky. But with that, everyone, let's go ahead and move into Tifrit's area. The Servant of Wrath. What? What the fuck is behind us? What the hell is this? We might be able to handle this if we figure out why she was consumed with wrath. So, we're supposed to kill those wooden puppets? She seems to be looking for something. What's this now? I'm seeing a bunch of wood dolls. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and see what's with this person behind us, this monster. The Servant of Wrath. Today's play, only the Servant of Wrath can defeat the Hermit. The abnormality battle is concluded when the Hermit is defeated. Blind Rage prioritizes attacking the Hermit's staves. If no hermit staves is present, attacks the Hermit. Sinners of the Other Worlds. While one or more Hermit Staffs are present, after taking 30 damage, uses a mass attack page, Embodiments of Evil, on the following scene. The total damage counter is reset afterwards. Boiling Anger. When the abnormality starts attacking the Hermit, uses a mass attack page, Embodiments of Evil. The page is used every two scenes after. Don't like that. I don't like that. Now let's go ahead and see what these wooden puppets are. Hermit Staff. Hermit Staff. Attacks the Servant of Wrath. Hermit of the Azure Forest. The Exploited. HP does not fall below 30 from a Librarian's attack. If the character's HP is at 30 or lower, at the end of the scene, recover 50% of max HP next scene. Well, that kind of seems bullshit. Dear Companion, gains plus 5 power when clashing against the Servant of Wrath. Takes no damage from burn, bleed, or erosion. What's erosion? I haven't ran into that yet. Visitor from another world, while one or more Hermit Staffs are present, uses a mass attack page every two scenes. When two realms meet, changes behavior when all Hermit Staffs are defeated. On the first scene of the new cycle, attacks the Servant of Wrath. After attacking the Servant of Wrath again on the second scene, uses a mass attack page that summons more Hermit Staffs. Okay, so I'm kind of seeing this more or less like Little Red Mercenary's uh, fight. Her battle had us pretty much attack the wolf, but if she took a certain amount of damage to a degree, she would use a mass attack page, damaging us, go ballistic, all that stuff. So it's kind of the same concept I'm seeing. Alright, here we go. So, pretty much we're doing a little bit of damage to him. It's just going to be pretty uh, pretty much us just countering him. Not going to be doing too much damage to him because we got to make sure to take out these, these staffs. If we can take out the staffs, that'll be good. Holy shit! I don't want to be hit by that. Holy hell. Winning a clash. See, that one's good, but we haven't been dealt any damage. Same with that one. Okay, who's doing a lot of pierce? I guess we could give it to him. Alright. Five. Not bad. Four. Not bad. Ah, oh, get fucked. Here we go. Nice dagger. Ha! 
Oh, it's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> We're doing all right. Okay, here we go once again. We're pretty much just attacking him right now because I believe the Servant of Wrath is going to be able to kill that thing easily because, well, they're using everything on it. Well, we helped. We killed it off for it. Okay, Blessing. There we go. Well, you don't seem happy. Wait. Hey. Hey. Hey, no. No, you don't do that. I've been protecting you. You don't do this to us. What the hell? What's wrong with you? All right, here we go. Hopefully we don't get hit too bad. Come on, we're on your side. Oh, nice. Come on, let's break him. If we can break him here, then it's an easy win if we can break him. Come on. Nice. Nice. That's it. That is it. That is it. He can't be dropped underneath, but she's going to kill him. Booyah! We were, we were, we were true friends, right? Nope. That was amazing. Dude, that was really nice, though. I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this now. You know, so many defeats in the past and not knowing how to build my decks correctly. Thanks to your guys' help. You know, definitely, I appreciate you guys because you guys have been helping me along my journey through Library of Aruna, And I do appreciate it. It just makes me feel good that I'm able to pass these abnormalities with a much easier time. I can say that. So thank you guys. I appreciate this. And I think I, I appreciate you guys sticking with the channel. Okay, so the floor of natural sciences realization has leveled up from level four to level five. One assistant librarian has awoken. We have access to new abnormality pages and the emotion level threshold has increased to level five. Ah, oh, look at this. <clears throat> Wrath. The servant was betrayed after abandoning her principles and in generosity trusting someone with her whole heart. Now she is dominated by anger toward herself for what she had done. Single ally, the selected librarian enters a state of wrath. The librarian becomes uncontrollable and targets random characters, including allies. Also, the librarian gains two strength, restores two light, and draws two more pages each scene. Companion, the Servant of Wrath valued justice and balance more than anyone, but she began sharing knowledge with the Hermit, an enemy of her realm, becoming friends with her in secret. Single ally, when there is no companion present, the first enemy the selected librarian hits is marked as one. When the selected librarian defeats the companion, all librarians restore three light and recover 10 HP and stagger resist. That is beautiful, that is a good card. Acidic Sludge. When the two met at last, the Hermit brought countless minions to destroy the Servant's world. All enemies inflict five erosion to all enemies. Enemies with erosion also gained bind equal to the amount of erosion they currently have. Erosion at the end of the scene take damage equal to the amount of erosion and lose one stack when taking a hit. Take bonus damage and stagger damage equal to the amount of erosion. That. Damn, erosion sounds crazy. Wait a minute. Is that a fucking vampire? Oh, Nosferatu! Ah, I'm a fucking moron! I know who that is. Doesn't it look sort of similar to us? It does. Doesn't really look like a monster. It seems to want something. Kind of horrifying. It looks awfully starved. We'd better be careful. Okay, so he wants blood. Um, let's go ahead and read what his little bat eyes are all about. Sanguine bat. Fear of water. If the character has one or less blood, gain two strength. Nosferatu. 
Fear of Water. If the character has less than 5 blood, gain strength proportional to the amount of blood missing, up to 3. Thirst. If the character has 2 or less blood, uses a special combat page, has as a 2 scene cooldown. Banquet of Blood. If the character has 5 or more blood, uses a mass attack page, Banquet of Blood. Has a 3 scene cooldown. If the character did not use the page for the first 4 scenes of the battle, it will be used on the 5th scene. Kinda bullshit. Shape shifting. If HP falls 50% or lower, shape shift next scene. HP does not go below 50% before this. Okay. Sounds good. So, counter his dice, kill off his little guys. Because it says he doesn't summon them back. I think that's the I think that's the play. So let's do that. Oh my god. Woo! Deborah's whooping whooping some ass right now. But you guys are too. Can we get a stacker? Dude, he's gonna get a lot of blood. Ten blood! What the fuck? Cost zero? Inflict fear of water on target and restore HP of allies by seven plus the number of targets hit. What? You asshole. You absolute asshole. Alright, here we go once again. Oh, that hurts. Oh my god. Dude, this is insane. Holy hell. All right. Here we go. Come on. Oh no, don't take all that damage. Woo. Oh, nice. Oh, he has unleashed his power! Jacob, you are about to fuck some shit up. I'm gonna make sure she uh, has her stuff going. Alright, so we're kind of just letting him do what he needs to do. If he recovers health, yeah, that sucks, but it's not a huge deal. I don't think, because, like, as long as we kill these guys off, he's kind of screwed. What the? Oh my god! Wait! Holy shit! What was that? What was that? Oh, dude. We needed Andre to heal up. We can manifest. We can fucking manifest. Oh my god. Okay, so... 8 to 15. Oh, dude, that would be really good. We're gonna, we're gonna wait to use all this crazy stuff because like, we have to get him down to a certain HP threshold. And then we can actually start uh, killing him. Because he has to do a transformation. Jebra's about to do her transformation and just fuck him up. Look at that. He got healed. Wait. Oh! My god! She's a god! <laughs> She's a god damn god! I think he's kinda fucked! What? Oh, here we go! Oh, yeah! Fucking take it! Nice. Okay, so he can't go any lower now. Which is good, because we saved our big hitters. 
Wow, you are an ugly son of a bitch, aren't you? Now, what do you have? Um, flowing blood. At the start of the scene, lose one blood. Unbearable drought. If the character has two or less blood, uses a special combat page. Has a two scene cooldown. Lust for blood. If the character has zero blood, uses a mass attack page. Lust for blood. Has a three scene cooldown. If the character did not use this page for three scenes, after shape-shifting, it will be used on the fourth scene. Well, well, well! Here we go! Get him! Whoop his ass! Unlock three, baby! Woo! Oh, you thought this was gonna be easy for you, did ya? Hell no! Alright, let's end this. Oh shit. Oh no! I think we can still end it. Oh yeah. You're fucked. Get fucked. Goodbye! Later! You're all lucky I'm having a bad day. Oh yeah, that's right. That's one of his, his catchphrases. Nurse Nosferatu is defeated. Stupid vampire. Here we go, guys. Floor of language realization leveled up from level four to level five. We have access to a new librarian assistant and new abnormality pages, and the emotion level threshold has increased to level five. Woo! God, Nosferatu. I like this guy. I like him. Fear of water. He seemed lost. He was looking for something, but he didn't appear to know what he wanted to find. Single ally on hit. Inflict one bleed next scene and gain one blood. Excludes mass attacks. Blood grants various effects depending on its amount, such as increasing attack damage at the cost of HP, taking stagger damage at the start of the scene, and granting strength. Wine. It maintains a human form, but a single drop of blood should be enough for it to shapeshift into a ferocious monster and spend the night in a rampage. Single ally, upon defeating an enemy with blood, all allies recover 10 HP and the selected librarian gains max blood. That seems strong as hell. Vampirism, and the thirst would never truly be quenched. Single ally, deal two to four damage and recover two to five HP upon attacking a target with bleed, excludes mass attacks. Man, Nurse Feratu, you got some interesting pages, and they're awesome. Now, with that, that completes pretty much Jebra's area up to her realization, which is going to be a headache. I can already feel just by the abnormalities that she has, it is going to be a headache. Now, time to move over to Bina's area. Will you enter the Book of Punishing Bird? I remember you, ya yeah. tweet tweet bitch! Flashback. You fucking bird! I'm gonna fucking kill this bird. He fucked up everything. I had this! I fucking had this! You sack of shit! Why the fuck didn't you go back to your fucking home. That's all you had to do. I know I could have just paid attention to the goddamn fucking train. But fuck this bird, man. Fuck that bird. Fuck that stupid bird. Burn that bitch. All right, here we go. What the fuck? That is a big cage. Is there anything about the cage? No. And then there's those bird people. Okay. Everybody had to tighten up whenever it fluttered out of containment. Yeah, we'd even place bets on who to be taking the pecks. We used to joke about whoever got pecked by the bird being the bad guy, yeah? Wait a minute. Bina! What the fuck? You logged in! Where the fuck are you? God damn it! 
My librarian! She is useless! She is a god among the librarians! But god damn it! Why aren't you helping your librarians? You make me so angry. <laughs> Meanwhile. Alright, well. Whatever. Whatever. So, let's go ahead and look at the these guys, because obviously I don't know who the hell you guys are. Keeper of the Black Forest. Forest Keeper prioritizes targeting staggered characters. This character's offensive dice gain to power against targets with a slower speed. Stolen Lock. Gives a special combat page, Forest Keeper's Lock, to the librarian that defeats this character. Okay, so it's kind of like Big Bird, but instead, these guys have a lot more health. Punishing Bird. Misdeeds not allowed. Gains plus 50... Wait, <laughs> hold on a second. No. Gains 50 power when clashing against offensive dice. That is insane. Punishment. If the abnormality took damage this scene, uses a combat page punishment against the character that attacked it last scene. Cannot be redirected. I'm guessing punishment is a instant death card. <laughs> you know, looking back at Lobotomy Corporation. Rattling Cage. When punishment clashes against Forest Keeper's lock, a chain on the bird cage breaks. Okay, so we gotta kill them and get those pages. Gotcha. All right. Well, time to whoop some ass, I guess. We're gonna just weaken them this turn a little bit. If we can. I don't know if we will, but... Then what we can do is, is we can target one. The packs, they hurt. So, what are they weak to slash? Okay. Kind of prevent a little bit of damage. Dude, those packs hurt. They're gonna really stagger us, but look at this. We already got one of them about to go down. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he staggered. Okay, we got one dead, so that's good. Don't stagger us. Alright. He's gonna get hurt a lot. But I think he might be okay. We'll see. Nice. Nice. All right. Oh, okay, yeah. He'll be good. He'll be good. Nice. We'll kill this one this turn. Oh, he got staggered. That's not good. But he has awakened. He is stronger than ever. He's a god. I don't know. I, I love saying that they're a god whenever that happens. It's just such an awesome thing when you see them unlock their potential. Okay. There we go. And he got to draw three cards, so that's nice. He's got one. Nice. So we just need him to get it. So... Alright. Oh no! He got two? Fuck! Well, that sucks. Yeah, I should just let him, uh... Yeah, he got two. Oh, shit! Nah, that's not good. Well, fuck. Oh, he doesn't have the card again! We lost the person with two cards! God damn it! It's over!
Okay. Shouldn't he be able to attack? Yeah. And shouldn't it be attacking him next? Yep. Perfect. So that's how you do it. There we go. Yeah. We're just gonna... I'm gonna beat the shit out of you because I just feel like it. Nothing again. Well, it it is a personal attack against you, bird. Yeah. Oh, you deserve this. You honestly deserve some punishment of your own. Yeah, get over here. <laughs> Just smacking a little bird around. Victory! See, that one wasn't that bad. It's just, you know, I messed up. <laughs> yes, the new books for Bina. Now, I have another question for you, Bina. Why aren't you there? Why, why don't you want to help out your librarians? Come on! You wanted to kick Jebra's ass, but you wouldn't really, like fucking do that? Like, come on. Pansan Oh, don't say that, Roland. You got many things in front of you. You have a future. 그게 무슨 상관인가 싶기도 하고. No, it does matter. Come on, man. Don't be down in the dumps. You gotta be high spirited. 많은 걸 내려놓은 듯한 말이구나. That's true. He did lose his, his wife. 내려놓은 게 아니라 빼앗긴 거지. 아. 알지도 못하는 일에 떠밀려서 다 잃었거든. 도시 때문이라고 생각하니? 너의 평범하고 소소한 행복을 도시가 빼앗았다고 생각하는구나. 맞아. 어쩔 수 없다고 생각하고 포기한 걸지도. 내가 원하는 게 생겨도 이 세상은 그냥 내버려 두지 않아. 어떻게든 나에게 고통을 주지. 넌 다른 누군가에게 고통을 주거나 뭔가를 빼앗은 적이 없니? Oh, that's a good question. 당연히 있지. Ah, there we go. 그래도 그건 그건 그거고 이건 이거다 라고 말하고 싶은 거겠지 Yep Yep she just God damn Bina 하지만 과연 그럴까 Oh jeez She's hitting him hard 그렇게 편한 대로 잘라낼 수 있는 문제라고 생각하니 당연하지. 내가 겪은 아픔은 내 것이고 남의 고통은 남의 것이니까. Yep. 속 편한 말을 하는구나. Yep. 누구보다 잘 알면서 그 누구보다 그 사실을 외면하고 있어. 너는 보이지 않는 게 아니란다. That is true. 보고 있지 않을 뿐이지. Damn, spitting facts. 도시의 사람은 그렇기에 취약한 것이란다. 내 아픔이 무엇보다 소중하고 확실하니까. Yep. 하지만 그렇지 않다는 걸 알기에 그 모순 속 뒤틀림이 빚어지는 거지. Damn, dude. 
넌 보인다는 거야? 이 도시의 아픔이? Who knows? She might, dude. Like she seems like she uh, understands a lot. 그걸 다 헤아릴 수 있다고? 무엇이 문제인지. 헤아리지 말고 바라봐야 하는 거지. 아휴, 역시 말장난이 나고 있고. 그렇게 뜬구름 잡는 소리 하다가 다들 돼지는 거야. 그것도 맞는 말이겠구나. 음. 그렇기에 내가 여기 있는 거겠지. That is true. If she did not face that fate, she would not be in the library. 책은 전달했으니 난갈 거야. 잠깐. Oh, not so fast, Roland. She's got more things to say. 난 너랑 할말 없어. <laughs> he does not want to listen. 이걸 받으렴다. 어? 이게 뭔데? 홍차이 피란다. 내가 추천한 거지. 향이 좋단다. Dude, you know, Roland might not like what she says, but she is really nice. She is nice to him, I guess? I don't know. Like, I don't know what she's, what she has going on in her head, because she is not the nicest pers person, but she's not the meanest. Oh, shit. First, I'll give you a Man. <laughs> okay, so... The Floor of Philosophy Realization has leveled up to level 3. You now have access to new abnormality pages. New assignment has been added. Punishment. It must be because there's no one to punish people for their misdeeds. If someone takes that role, then no foul act would happen in this world ever again. Single ally, after taking damage the first die on the first page, the librarian uses next scene, gains two to four power, excludes on play pages. Punishing Beak, people have been committing sins since long ago. Why do they commit sins knowing it's wrong? Single ally, the librarian's attacks deal bonus damage equal to the number of scenes that pass without the librarian taking damage from attacks, maximum of 10. Small flutters, a small and confident bird that punishes the evil, guilty, and all sorts of irreverence people. Single ally, evade dice gain 1 to 2 power upon winning a clash using evade dice. The next offensive dice gains 1 to 2 power. That could be really good. That's actually really good. And looks like we have another abnormality in Bina's area. So maybe we might not be able to do the realization this one, but we will be able to do another abnormality. So we're going to jump into that one. Didn't know I was going to get another one, but here it is. Will you enter the Book of Judgment Bird? Yes, I will. And you know what? I actually enjoy Judgment Bird. He never really caused me any crazy problems while I played Lobotomy Corporation. Honestly, he was my first pale monster to ever grace my employees. And after countless deaths in his containment unit, I eventually got his ALF gear, which, let's be honest, it is a badass looking set of gear. The sword, the armor, just beautiful. So let's go ahead and visit our friend Judgment Bird. And I'm not gonna throw in a scene because he treated me so nicely. All right, scene one. Oh my God, he looks so goddamn good. The sound of its scale tilting used to give me the chills. Its scales was always tilted to one side. I wasn't sure if its judgment could be trusted. It was supposedly weakened, but we shouldn't let our guard down nonetheless. How curious to face a being lying dormant within a book in such a way. Wait, Fina, you showed up! Oh my god! Gotta love her for showing up this time. Runaway bird. I'm scared, I'm scared. If this character's attacks hit, transfer one sin to target once per page. Piercing shriek. After taking an attack, uses a combat page piercing shriek. Next scene. 
Sin 1. If the amount of sin exceeds a certain threshold at the start of a scene, Judgment Bird will use a special combat page. Sin can be transferred to allies by attacking and damaging them. Judgment Bird. Unjust Scale. Starting with Scene 1, all characters excluding Judgment Bird gain one sin at the start of the scene. Sin can be transferred to an ally by attacking and damaging them. The Weight of Sin. All dice gain power equal to the amount of sin the target has. Judgment. If the character has five or more sin at the start of the scene, uses a special combat page Judgment on them. Ceaseless Judgment. If three or more characters have three plus sin at the start of the scene, uses a mass attack page. Ceaseless Judgment. Overflowing Misdeeds. After using Judgment or Ceaseless Judgment, lose 25% of Max Dagger Resist. Pretty much kill off the birds, get rid of that Judgment. All right, here we go. Stole a dice. That's two. All right, dodge. All right, so she doesn't have a bait. He does though. So she's got three. Ah, oh, shit. At least she's getting that in. Oh my God, no. Oh my God, three of them died. Well, that's one of those guys dead, and then we should be dead this turn. Is that? They dead. Yeah, what does it mean to be fair, really? <laughs> God damn it. Don't kill.
There we go. Hell yeah. Oh my god. How? How did this work? How did this work? I have no idea how this actually came, made me come out on top. But we came out on top, baby. We came out on top. We lost three people in an instance. I was able to stagger him with that amazing card. That... God. The, that, that page is awesome. Those pages are awesome. Oh, man, that was a... Dude, he was a pain in the ass. He was a pain in the ass. He was He was a pain in the ass. He was a pain in the ass. That's all I gotta say. But we did it, so it's good. Yeah, she's always sipping tea, but this time she did something, and like, she did a lot. She actually did a lot for the team. Natura 인간으로부터 괴물을 지키는 걸까? That is That's a wonderful question right there. 그 경계조차 모호하다고 생각하지 않니? 당연히 괴물로부터 인간을 지키는 거겠지. 하. 비로소 그 경계가 모호해질 때 사람의 본 모습이 나오는 거란다. 그것이 에고이자 환상체라고 불리는 것들이지. 지금 그 현상은 뒤틀림이라 명명한 것 같구나. 네? 도시 이야기하고 있는 게 아니야? <웃음> He's like, oh, wait, wait, what? Well, how did jump to distortions? 게다가 자꾸 사람의 본 모습이라고 말하는데. 인간이라는 것이 대체 뭔데? That is that's a good question. What is Bina's definition of a true human? 왜본 모습이라는 것들은 죄다 나사 빠진 모습이냐고. 글쎄. 무엇일까? 사람은 그저 동물계의 영장류일까? 인간을 무엇이라 생각하니? 뭐 욕심 덩어리? 역시 단순하게 생각할수록 본질을 꿰뚫는 법이구나. 그래서 뭔데? <웃음> 네가 말한 대로란다. 욕망의 모습이야말로 사람의 본 모습 아니겠니? 말장난이 나고 말이지. 내가 듣고 싶은 건 그런 게 아니야. 너도 이미 알잖아. 머리의 조율자로서 알고 있는 걸 듣고 싶은 거구나. 도시의 비밀을 알고 싶은 게야. 왜 머리는 도시를 방관하며 고통이 들끓게 하냐고. 엄격하게 통제하는 것 같으면서 왜 전혀 통제하지 않냐는 거겠지. 그래. 그래서 그 답은? 침묵할 뿐이란다. Yep, she's not gonna be talking about it. <laughs> just the voice, just how he said it that way. You know he's irritated. 진정하렴. 알려주고 싶어도 그럴 수 없단다. Huh. 날 책으로 펼쳐내도 마찬가지야. 이미 나는. 내가 알고 있는 모든 것을 비워낸 상태니까. Damn. 머리의 조율자였던 것은 늘 그런 법이지. 그래 그래 나도 두손두발다 들었어. <웃음> he stopped. He stopped uh, wanting to do it just because no more motivation. 너에게서 뭔가 알아내려는 건 포기야. 
실시하구나 그래도 현명해 <웃음> 여기 네 앞에 있는 건 조율자도 무엇도 아닌 그저 인간이었던 존재일 뿐이지 에이, she's not lying she's kind of fallen from the position of an arbiter at least that's how it seems from uh, lobotomy corporation and then library of runa she's not really the arbiter she used to be 그래도 난 너를 곱게 볼수 없어 엔젤라도 분명 그럴 테지 yeah i'm on the same book as you roland not like i like her but she's pissed me enough that i don't like her but you know she's not gonna care epoke 날 있는 그대로 보렴나 exactly 그 어떠한 판단조차 하지 말고 그동안 학습한 무엇에도 얽매이지 않고 나를 보렴 어떻게 인간이 쌓아온 경험을 제쳐놓고 그냥 지켜볼 수 있어 나를 조율자로서가 아닌 세피라로서가 아닌 그저 나 자신으로 바라보면 된단다 하. 그저 내가 겪은 시간 그 자체만으로 모든 걸 몰랐다는 듯이 바라본다면 보이겠지 인간은 도시에서 서로 얽히며 오랜 시간 퇴적해왔어 그렇기에 혼탁해 제대로 바라볼 수 없단다 도시가 그렇지 오직 자신의 눈으로 바라봐야 보이는 거야 네 말대로라면 다들 자기 마음대로 제각각 세상을 봐야 한다는 거야? 같은 컵을 보더라도 서로 컵이라고 생각하지 않는다고? Yep. 너만의 눈으로 그 자체를 바라보렴 그렇다면 보이겠지 하지만 보였을 때왜 보고자 했는지 잊게 될 거란다 보려 했던 이유를 잊었기에 고통이며 비극이지 하... 모든 사람마다 제멋대로 세상을 품을 거야 그건 답이 정해져 있는 도시에서 있을 수 없어 그래 그럼 저마다의 우주를 들여다보려무나 Okay, so the floor of philosophy has leveled up once again from level 3 to level 4. We have access to new abnormality pages and one assistant librarian has awoken. The weight of sin. Its scales would never neglect the weight of even the smallest sin. Single ally, whenever a die this librarian plays, rolls the minimum value. Take 2 to 7 damage and gain 1 to 2 strength and endurance next scene. Judgment. Then somebody said, but what if the scale doesn't tip in either direction someday? Worried, Longbird made a scale that always tipped to one side. That way, every judgment would yield a clear verdict. Single ally. At the start of the scene, all characters gain one sin and at a 50% chance. If the character has plus 5 sin, they take damage equal to 10% of their max HP. HP at the start of the scene and all sin is removed from them. Sin can be transferred to another character by attacking and damaging them once per page. Tilted scale. All that remains is the unjust scale. The long bird continues on doling out judgment. Single ally. After attacking an enemy with the most HP, recover HP of the ally with the least amount of HP. By two to eight, three times per scene excludes mass attacks. And with that, everyone, we have no more abnormalities to deal with. So that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to become part of the pack, go ahead and hit that sub button and notification bell to know when a new video goes up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. All comments are well appreciated. And with that, everyone, I'm Demonic Wolf, and I'll see you all in the next video that I make because I am out.